This is Fly Guy for TexasShield.com giving you a look at this. The Halo Universe uh, Master Chief. The package is the version of this figure. Uh, let me just zoom in a little better there. We'll show you that in focus, which would really help. There we go. 20 moving parts, it says. And it's uh, basically a tri-logo package, it seems. They're basically French and English and whatever. Uh, bonus piece, the package Master Chief, and you get to build this uh, insignia there. So it's one of these build-a-figure type things. Anniversary Series 2 is what it's from. I don't buy a lot of Halo figures myself, but uh, I wanted to pick this one up because the previous version of Master Chief I had broke. <laughs> so not the best uh, figure. I've never been a great fan of McFarlane toys in the past. The joints on the figures tend to break very, very easily. But there's a look at some of the figures on there. Let me just again try and focus that up a little bit for you. So a series of figures in the range, if you collect uh, Master Chief, uh, J Jacob Keys, the Spartan, the Guilty Spark, and Mickey, you get to build that insignia, which is up at the top there. And that's just going back showing you how old Halo is, which is kind of freaky, actually, because I remember playing it as if it was yesterday. So there you go, that's the package. Nothing else really inside it, nothing to report. There's no print or uh, anything kind of uh, fancy inside it. That's all you get. We get this uh, collector piece that you can build that's part of it, which is frankly naffly. It's not that exciting. But Master Chief is. He's rather cool. So uh, again, I had a previous version of this uh, figure, a smaller version that, that came out, and um, he was great, but uh, sadly his joints just froze up and he broke. So uh, this guy has to be said, the joints aren't particularly great on this either, but um, I wanted a kind of three and three quarters, so roughly scale. Well, in fact, this guy, if we look at a standard Star, Star Wars Stormtrooper, He's uh, actually closer to six or five inches or something like that, uh, almost in height. But uh, rather cool, great paintwork on him. Uh, so this is going back to, I believe, in the past, I think. I might be wrong, uh, for uh, 117, which was uh, Master Chief's old kind of, uh, basically, uh, original kind of insignia and um, rank. But uh, again, might be wrong, not a huge Halo fan. I'm sure someone's going to tell me and correct me. But uh, lots and lots of uh, good uh, paintwork applied here. There's a nice brushed uh, effect across here to kind of weather them. Uh, the camera's not picking up too well, but there's a kind of greeny uh, metallic uh, effect coming on there, and uh, it just about picks up. The white's even uh, kind of uh, a, bit, a little bit washed as well, and small touches as you can see of red on there, and lots of pitted pieces in the armor. Uh, it's all a little bit. Uh, weathered overall which is quite nice. We get a spare hole in his thigh there for uh, another grenade but we only get one in the package which I find is a little bit annoying. Uh, rather than get the freebie crap thing like that I would rather add extra ammo or grenades um, but uh, there you go. I guess if you're collecting Halo you've probably got a few spares of guns and uh, uh, grenades kicking around but all in it's not a bad looking figure at all. It's Master Chief after all. Uh, he does have on the other side of his thigh there one grenade that we get. With a nice little insignia or logo on it, I believe. Not quite sure what that is. And we get another hole on the thigh there for yet another weapon we don't have. Uh, you could almost plug this uh, weapon that he's got here in. I believe there's a peg on it somewhere. I may be wrong. No, there's not. Okay, there used to be on one of the other versions of this. Uh, you do have a small peg there, a peg hole. So what you could do is take the grenade out, which is in two parts. It's the grenade with a hole with a peg. <laughs> that makes sense. Take the grenade off, uh, put the peg onto there, and you can basically clip the uh, rifle onto the thigh if you want to. While we're looking at the weapon, this is a repackaged weapon as far as I can tell. Again, not a major Halo fan, so don't, don't, uh, don't kill me on the comments on this. But this one seems a little bit small for the scale of this figure. It's just just a little bit too small. It should be bigger and chunkier. So I think they've just been a little bit cheap and reused an older weapon. And there's not a great deal to write home about this one. It's pretty flat and thin and I think out of scale. So mm, not great. But uh, Chief himself is pretty cool. Very stiff jointed. Very hard to move him. Uh, hence the kind of fear of uh, he's going to break a little bit. And this is what McFarlane toys always seem to do for me. The joints just seem to be very poor. But uh, this one's not too bad. Maybe they're correcting it. Let me know whether in the comments below, McFarlane Toys, Spawn, and Halo, etc., are they breaking for you? Because they always break for me. This is my third chief that's broken over the many years. Uh, but um, the earlier, earlier ones, which weren't McFarlane, were damn good. But these guys are all a bit ropey. 
Anyway, he's good, good looking. He's got the, uh, as I said, that wash over him. You can barely just see the silverish wash over everything, which gives a nice metallic effect. But it's a uh, pretty damn good. Lots of paintwork applied in small touches and small places, but it's a very cool looking figure. Cost me around about fifteen dollars. I don't know why this is cheaper here, because in the US these are about uh, twenty, I believe, on Amazon. So uh, yeah, a little bit cheaper here, which is a damn rarity, let me tell you. Um, he has these incredibly annoying shoulder pieces that pop off all the time. They drive me insane. But once you've got them posed, uh, it's not too much of a problem. But uh, they are a bit of a pain in the butt because uh, they consistently fall off. So, uh, articulation on him, he's got a ball jointed uh, swivel head, so he moves around pretty uh, all over the place. The shoulder pads uh, stop the shoulder moving up too much, but it does have a ball joint with a hinge. Same for the elbow, you can just see the joint there, and same for the wrist. So we get a double ball joint on the uh, wrist that moves in all sorts of directions. A little bit fragile again for me. We've got a mid-torso articulation, and he's got a, basically, it's very hard to move them, but he does have ball joint with a hinge on the, uh, ball jointed, no hinge I don't think really. Uh, there's no, really, yep, yeah, there is, I think, there we go, we do get some movement, you can just didn't see a hinge. It's very hard to move. Uh, ball joint with a hinge on the thighs. Double joint on the knees, it seems. Nope, single joint, my apologies. Uh, single joint on those knees. And uh, he does have those kind of rocker uh, ankles. You can just make them out there. So a kind of 360 degree ankle, which is pretty cool. And in fact, he's got uh, articulated toes. He's got a little bit of movement at the uh, front of that. So that's uh, pretty damn good from a farm. There's a limited bit of movement there, but nice detail nonetheless. So that is a uh, Halo Master Chief, the Spartan uh, 117, and again he is the uh, Anniversary Series 2 figure. So let us know what you think. We don't collect a lot of these. We might collect a few more, but let us know what you think. If you want to see more, the views will tell us. The more that watch, the more we'll uh, get reviews done of Halo product. We do have one uh, or two other cool Halo figures which we'll uh, get around to review in time, but we thought we'd give you a look at this relatively new one for us. Let us know what you think. Comment below facebook.com slash techsushi or twitter.com slash techsushi. And you'll also find us on Google Plus and lots of other channels which you can find at techsushi.com. See you for more reviews soon. Cheers.